And welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen. If you're new, and today I'm be sharing with you guys some spring thrift store makeovers. I love doing trash to treasure videos. So excited to show you guys what I came up with. And I'm also super excited because this is a collab with my sweet friend Wendy from White Sparrow Living. If you guys have not heard of her, I will leave her video in the description box below. She is amazing. She's so sweet. She does some amazing farmhouse decor. I just absolutely love Wendy. She's just sweet inside and out. She makes some amazing home decor and she is just a wonderful, wonderful person. You guys, let's jump in to the video. The first thrift makeover, I'll be making this fresh flower market decor piece, and I'm just gonna be using this old magazine rack. This was only $1.09 from our Goodwill, and I've had this forever, so it definitely needed a facelift. This was so hard to paint and took so long because these spindles were in like three different sections of this. So this took a while, but I am so happy I decided to end up painting this. It probably would have been easier to spray paint, but since it's so cold in uh, where I live, it just wasn't gonna happen with the spray paint. Oh, you see me too, everybody singing oh, everybody singing oh. So white was finished I just went back in with my Waverly chalk paint and ink and I just did some dry brushing along the spindles and the edges and the sides of this magazine rack I just like the distress look I like the little old like antique looks so this was definitely a must when I was gonna do this magazine rack and then I'm gonna be reusing an old sign from Dollar General that was last year the year before and it is a black and white so I did want a little bit of black in the magazine rack I'm just using these little adhesive command hooks. So those are from the Dollar Tree and I just put it on the inside of this magazine rack to hold this sign and the sign like I said is from Dollar General and it was only a dollar. I ended up having it on a wreath but I changed my mind. So that is why I'm using a command hook on the inside instead of gluing it just in case I change my mind and want to repurpose it down the road. And then I just have a ton of greenery and florals from the Dollar Tree and I thought this looked super pretty in here and like I said if I did want to change my mind add something else into here I could use the flowers and the greenery for something else and that is it for this one Next DIY is going to be a happy spring wreath and I'm just using this sign. I picked this up at Goodwill as well and it was $3.09. I don't know why my Goodwill always says 09 and everything but it does so if you're like why does she keep saying 09? It's just how it always is over there and I'm just using my Waverly chalk paint in white to paint over the bunnies and I end up doing about two coats. I want to say two coats maybe even three. If I sanded it down it probably would have taken less but Sometimes sanding when it's too cold outside, you just don't want to do that. And then, and now I'm just taking these little pop-up stickers from the Dollar Tree and just lining our lining? Yeah, going around the bunnies with these just to give it a little bit of texture and then be painting over the top of these. There's a lot of painting when it comes to this sign. I'll take you any way you want As long as we're together Everything will do You got me going on actually become my new favorite paint. It is Toad Soil by Martha Stewart and I picked it up at Michael's a year or so ago but I just love this brown color and I'm just going to be going over the top of this. This actually needed two coats for this to cover up with the white. Like I said this was a lot of painting. I'm 
going back in with my Waverly Chalk Paint in White and just dry brushing around the pop-up stickers and the edges of the sign. Just use my silhouette cameo and cut out this happy spring decal and I think the font is called a ballerina it was something I purchased and then I'm just peeling back the transfer tape and then I was trying to decide what I wanted to add on to this sign because it was a little bit plain it was gonna be the center of a wreath but I still just was so indecisive on what I wanted so I ended up cutting this little burlap bow down and sticking it in the middle of the bunny and I ended up changing out the pink flower because it just didn't match the florals that I was going with for this wreath. The little carrot was also from Dollar Tree and then this little burlap flower is from Burlap Fabric and I think this would looked so much better than the pink. I was trying to go for spring colors but I kind of kept it really neutral when it came to this wreath. I did glue the bunny sign right on to the wreath form because I just want to keep this year round and then I want to put it away, put it out next year. So I definitely have a purpose now for this grapevine wreath. And then I'm just using some lamb's ear from Walmart. I think it's $2 a bundle. I use some eucalyptus, which I think is 97 cents. And then I just use some like fuzzy spring florals from Dollar Tree. And this took me a little while to figure out how I wanted this. So I kept kind of messing around with it until I liked it. When I look in your eyes, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It's almost like you make me fly. And when I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. this is what it looks like when it is all done and I absolutely love the way it turned out and I love how it's so farmhouse it has some neutral tones to it I just think it's super pretty Next one is a pretty simple one, but I love how it turned out. It's just this farmer's market table. This was $5 from a yard sale, and it just needed a little bit of work, so I did some sanding on it a little bit, and then I just ended up using some Kills Primer to prime over this, because I definitely did not want the wood tones or the wood oils leaking through because that seems to happen far too often if I don't use a primer. So like I said, I just used primer first, and I end up going in with this Kills uh, white paint. It's a paint and primer. I do not recommend it, but they did not have any chalk paint where I was. And I'm very specific on what I like to paint with. Um, so I definitely don't make my own chalk paint. I have no intention on making it. I, I know what I like. I want what I want. <laughs> I ended up going back and actually painting this with chalk paint later on because this paint and primer was just not working out. It was only like $8 or $9. So it's pretty inexpensive. And you think it's going on really great here until it dries and then it needed another coat and another coat and another coat. But this took quite a while, but in the end, I am just super happy with the way it turned out.
paint was dry, I am just lightly sanding it down. I sanded the edges, I sanded a little bit of the top and a little bit of the sides. And I do have a Bosch sander and I absolutely love this. It has like six different speeds. It just works really well and I highly re recommend this sander if you are needing one. cut out a farmer's market decal. This is with my silhouette cameo as well. I A lot of people ask if I have a cameo or a Cricut and I actually have both. Um, I really like my silhouette for my farmhouse uh, decals. I do purchase them off of their store site and they're pretty inexpensive. I've used this one many times um, and I just really like it. So it's just one of my favorites and this is the one my mom chose for her table. So that's what I did here. And then I did end up sealing this with a polycrylic spray. I did not show that, but that is just how I seal everything. And yeah, it's just a polycrylic spray. You could definitely paint it on if you chose to, but uh, it's just a lot faster if you can spray it down and uh, bring it back inside. next piece is one of my favorites and this was so simple. I'm just using this Dixie Belle paint in Annabelle Blue. I love this color and I just picked up this wooden box, this wooden decor piece from Goodwill and this was 309 and I'm just going to be painting it with the Annabelle Blue color. Like I said, this is just super pretty and I do love just a little bit of blue and a little bit of color in my decor for spring. I had this little sign. This is from Dollar General and I think it was last year and I'm just going to be putting it right to the center because I did not love the heart. I probably could have ripped it off and did something. I was thinking about keeping it, changed my mind. So I thought just adding a sign to the front and it sticks out just a little bit. I thought this was just a super cute little extra piece for it. And then I'm just going to be using some florals from Walmart. This is the eucalyptus from Walmart and then just some other little florals from Dollar Tree. This is what it looks like when it is all done. This was so simple and easy and it is so stinking cute. Last piece, I've actually had it around for a while, um, but I love it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made it. Just a quick, simple DIY. This little cutting board was from a garage sale. It was only $1 and I'm just going to take these pop-up stickers once again and then put them all along the sides of the cutting board. what the stickers look like when they are all around the cutting board and I didn't sand this down I didn't do anything I just decided to paint over it and I'm just using the tilled soil by Martha Stewart once again and just painting over this and then once that is all painted I end up going back in with the Waverly chalk paint in white and just going over the tilled soil color and distressing it
I love the way this piece came out. I also like that the cutting board had little feet on it, so it just made it just stand up just a little bit off of the ground or your table or wherever you decide to put it. Um, you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed these thrift makeovers, and if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel or if you're coming over for Wendy's channel, I'm so glad you guys decided to stop by. And if you have not watched Wendy's video yet, make sure you go over and check her out. She is so sweet, and you will absolutely love her. But that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!